Hey guys, wanted to make a video for you here. My machine is moving all three axes. That's the Z movement right now. I did have this working last night, but I got frustrated because the Z keeps... See, there it goes again. It's moving. The Z keeps um, tripping the circuit because it's saying that it's drawing maximum amps. That little motor must be a tad bit undersized there. I think I heard it just pop. Yep, see the red lights on. So my Z is either binding or it's underpowered. Um, I turned the error allowance up way high on it so it's, it's not erroring the whole machine out. When the Z trips, it still lets X and Y run. But yeah, Z is um, moving. It just keeps tripping and that's why I didn't make a video last night I was frustrated because I had it so close but uh, still not able to get Z running consistently because it's either binding somewhere maybe the coupling I made needs to be redone I could do that or um, there we see actual changes in my Z <laughs> And it's dead right now, but I put the error up to allow something like nine inches of fault um, before it would stop Linux CNC. So X and Y keep running, but Z, even though it's dead at the moment. Um, I'm going to have to get a bigger servo, I believe. I don't think that the problem is my coupling. My coupling is pretty darn good, and they seem to be aligned pretty well. So, uh, the other good news, my encoders are in and they're working. They are full of goop glue at the moment because the coupler, that little like figure eight thing in there, those were absolutely broken, totally broken. And I glued them together now that I realize they were broken in half. But that's why I had so much run out, or not run out, um, I had so much error when I was doing some machining of parts last month I couldn't figure out why my holes were eccentric instead of round um, turns out that my couplers that were at the time this is the old resolver there I took the resolver out I left it all wired here but the blocks are just hanging in back there there you can see it in between the two gray ribbon cables. That's one of the blocks for probably the Y axis. The other one's hidden. But um, I swapped out the resolvers for encoders, went full encoders on the whole machine. There's the other. That's the Y encoder down there. I just put old socks over them to protect them until I was sure that I got the encoders working. I am probably going to get better encoders. These encoders right now do not have index on them and I would like to be able to do what people call uh, index homing and that allows you to get really really high repeatability because you go back to almost an exact point every time when you start your machine and home it so these were only sixteen dollars a pop for these encoders now that I know I have the machine working on, on encoders it's no big deal for me to go ahead and spend forty or fifty dollars to get the higher end a, B, Z encoders. And uh, my new couplers, the things that are going to be, re be replacing those old tired ones, should be arriving today. So if they come, then I'll probably pull the wires out for the, in the old resolvers because I couldn't close things up with it like this. But I'll pull out the wires and um, close up the X and the Y and I have to come up with a better motor or I'll try if anyone has ideas on tests that I could do maybe I can watch my my torque or my current draw as it's trying to move my Z maybe it is binding because of misalignment I don't know something's causing it to trip sorry for my finger there but anyway the old tree 200R is coming to life for the first time last night it moved under machine control on the z-axis it's got a few band-aids on it right now when I get the uh, couplers and 
maybe take a better look at my z-axis I might have some better results be really neat to do some machining with X Y and Z but I'm gonna have to be patient and take it a step at a time all right well that's it from Harmony vertical axis wind turbine update here in February our first February update not sure if this will get me or not but take care and I'll put more updates out soon yeah, one of the big things I forgot to mention that I'm trying to do, I have pieces and parts that I actually need to machine as soon as possible for my um, for my wind turbines. I have the, the supports for my scoops. I totally redesigned them and now I'll be able to machine them all right on my machine with one bit and run through the program to do them all. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.